What is up, Generals? This is Fiasco. We are back once again with Ultimate General Civil War. We are playing the Union Major General Let's Play, working our way towards Fredericksburg, and all of that data is probably in the title to the video. This is the army uh, going into the skirmish at Perryville. I have moved some things around, pulled a couple of artillery units up from 3 Corps, pulled a sniper unit down from I Corps, just trying to get some experience, just trying to make sure it's even. Excuse me. Um, and get everything ready for uh, the Battle of Fredericksburg. First Division will be composed of uh, the infantry that, it, frankly, it has been there since it formed. Uh, and the same thing for... Second division, I'm bringing um, four artillery, which is a little heavy for this particular map. Um, two guns with the in two units with the intention for close in work, and then two units with the intention for longer range work. Uh, we're also bringing fourth and second light infantry. Um, so I'm gonna be working on some of the naming conventions, and some of these things have been not mega um, consistent. Not that that's super duper important, but it's helpful for, helpful for me. We're also bumping these officers down as low as I can get away with, with the intention of trying to see if I can't get some promotions and level some guys up. Perryville is uh, the last battle before Fredericksburg. It is a relatively straightforward fight. Confederate Army is hanging out around 64-ish. Um, and then I think we're still in the vicinity of like the high 50s, I think is what, what I remember um, so, I mean, we're, we're still looking at general parity. I'd imagine come time for Fredericksburg, uh, they'll, they'll bump up again, but so will we. So, uh, let us, without further ado, jump into things. All right, so Perryville provides you with the command to sort of defend all of this. And, uh, historically when I've played it at the Brigadier General level, I've essentially just taken this rectangular position and said, you know, F you, this is mine. Uh, the Confederates try and cross in the open. They try and cross under cover. Uh, and then there's, this just ends up kind of becoming sort of this no man's land skirmish thing. And increasingly, I'm wondering if instead of posting here and waiting, I'm wondering if I can't get maybe up to here or if I'm really lucky, maybe even here. This is my stretch goal. This is, I think, reasonable. And then at that point, you know, I'm looking at that sort of centralized position and then I can bounce back and forth as I need to. So they're bringing 15 and change. We're bringing apparently 17 and change, but that's not all of it, right? So we're not going to bring the whole thing. I'm only going to get uh, 14. Oh, we're going to get 14. That's more than I thought. Uh, let's go back to the camp. I thought I was going to get 12. I'm going to get more than that. So if that's the case... One, two, three, four. That's six. No, oh, right. That's six. That makes ten. So I get all of this, too. Not all of it, but damn near all of it. Okay. Well, shoot. That's more than I thought I'd get. Excellent. Great. That's actually really great. Um, four artillery is enough. Let's just go ahead and bump these guys and have them. So they'll just move to support, essentially. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Do, do. Okay, so I'm going to be bringing more than I thought I was going to bring, which is great. Um, I don't think we're going to get all of this division, so one of you guys is going to stay home. Oh, okay. way, That's just the way it is. Uh, all right, cool. Good that I caught that. That would be embarrassing. All right. Perryville, like I said, let's jump into it. Deploy your troops around this area and advance in order to Perryville. Blah, blah, blah. Rebels may attempt to attack us. You will not have reinforcements. Hold your ground at all costs because that's reasonable. Um, they're leaving one skirmisher. All right, so let's... How do I see everything? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I get it. All right. Your third division, right? 55s, 55s. Third division, goodbye. Bring the snipers, skirms. All right, cool. Um, 
Yeah, that'll work. So, but basically, what happened is, uh, here's the whole map. So I talked about I had traditionally kind of hung out here, and then the Confederates get themselves a nice kind of hidey hole right here, and it just turns into this nasty slug match. And I'm wondering if I can't take this, or maybe even this. We'll see. Um, because if I'm if I'm fighting here. To get to me, they have to leave cover. And if we're fighting here, we can just trade blows in the woods, and that's no good. So let's take a look. Let okay. Um I can't organize this the way I want to organize it from this screen. Note for the developers, you need to work on your deployment screen. Alright, so first division. Your job's over here. One gun for close, one gun for far. All right. Second division. Um, put them like out in the open on the road. Boop. It's a video game. <laughs> it's just, yeah, they can do that. And then their guns are going to be... Uh, far forward as well third division snipers snipers you're floating um let's take a look at quality really all of them could stand to level up but we're going to go ahead and spend you and you you guys could use it the most all right so 20th and 22nd are floaters they're going to go where they're needed second division is going to try and see if it can't get here but we'll see um and I don't really know what I'm going to do as far as holding that. That might be what 3rd Division's infantry does. So that 1st is hanging out down here, 2nd is fighting up here, and then the floaters from the 3rd are just kind of making sure things are okay. And they're going to bounce back and forth as needed. So that is what we're at. Start the battle. And then you guys just get there and I'll figure out what I want to do with you when the time comes. I'm not mega worried about getting into position over here on time. That isn't really the problem. Uh, sniper skirms. Boop. Push you up. If I can get them there, then usually I can, hopefully, anyway, I can get. All right, so I'll watch them and then as they go. We'll uh, we'll reassess as we as we move. All right, do I have orders for the can for the cart cart as well? Uh, and then oh, thirds, the floater infantry. Don't get too fancy. You're gonna lose time in maneuvering. All right, let's try this. You get a force that comes from around Mia, and then a force that comes from like around up here. I would imagine they're probably just, they came from this way and then, you know, split to sort of, in a macro sense, flank your position, uh, which is exactly what I would do. Skirmisher is moving up with the intention to establish where I want my front line to be and also to cast a net just so I can see stuff. I don't like being blind. All right. I get the impression things are going to be a bit dicey until my dudes get online. What are we looking at? Um, G2. 
just shy of 4,000 Confederate infantry, just under 600 cav, uh, artillery, two batteries, I don't know what, and then a big old skirmisher unit, which is going to be trading blows with a sharps unit, which is not ideal. Um, are we in danger of crossing over here? I think we pull you to provide fire support. Uh, yep. And then these guys are going to be kind of the linchpin. All right. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Okay. Artillery. Uh, you're the ordnance unit. I want you to advance. And then park over here. And you're the Napoleon unit. I want you to advance and park over here. And then eventually I'll probably displace it and move it over here. This should be juicy. Skirmishers in the river. A couple different sides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're not going to want to do that for much longer. Obviously, this is not something I can throw back. Yep, okay. Alright. Kick them out of there and... This will actually be okay. So you're going to eventually, once you displace Stuart, you'll move up over here. See if I can't kind of deny that to them. I really don't want them moving in that space. I really don't want you working as line infantry. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Let's see if we can't convince uh, Donaldson of the error of his ways. Not route, just fall back. Good job. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think I was uh, justifiably nervous, but I think things may be starting to stabilize and a little bit of aggression may be paying off. Um, defensive aggression, I should say. Now we 
we have the uh, 20 pounders doing their job. Working on cannons. Nice. Ooh, yeah, that's a golden opportunity you can't pass up. Not quite, looks like. Oh, well. I mean, we, we certainly hurt Polk's unit if we didn't, uh, even if we didn't quite get the kill. See if we, uh, this is probably gonna get, this is probably needlessly aggressive, but let's see what happens. Ah, took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. That is on me. But, uh, that's promising. I was about to say I'm surprised I'm not seeing a cavalry unit, but I am. You're simply for the recon. I want to bait them into the river. Whoa. When did you start taking that kind of damage? All right, shit. Fall back just a little bit. Can't see the cannons. attempt by their cavalry to flank. Uh, let's get those guys out there real quick. Fully bisected their command at this point. Um, I 
see if we can't get some shots on cannons, especially ones in the water. That should go great, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, that's good. They are ready. Okay. Oh, you're already there. Okay. Um... Like, uh, yeah, basically the river at this point. Wow. Great. Well, I'm certainly not going to be uh, mimicking some of the very low casualty playthroughs on this fight, but... But we're going to get complete, I would say... We're looking at complete, complete destruction at this point. You know, they've got no artillery, they've got no ability to attack me. Where there are engagements, they're heavily in my favor. Um, that's not to say that we're not taking losses. But generally speaking, I am quite happy with how this is all going. I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to push across and take that uh, cannon out.
but they're also not going to get anywhere near my flag. And we've got four minutes left. I don't know if this is one of those scenarios where the, the clock just sort of ticks and you're done. Um, that wouldn't be terribly surprising to me if that was the case. Yeah, real bad day for the guys in the stewards unit. Boom. Really bad day, in fact. Great. Yeah, boom. Okay. Uh, 960 to... I mean, that's... What? That's almost 10 to 1? Not quite. Um, with the gun casualties, too, that pushes me up to a little over 1,000. Actually, that's right around 1,000. Um... And they're not gonna they're not gonna come close to taking ten thousand. So I mean like seven to one, somewhere in there. That's about that's no, not bad. Hold the thing, do the stuff. That I tried a pretty aggressive push. Uh who are the heavy losers for the union? Uh I mean two hundred thirty in one unit. That's really I'm pretty happy with that. A promotion, which is not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. More of these Lower tier weapons, sawed off on the casualty, cavalry, shitty six pound fields. This is interesting. I would have expected them to be kind of kicking up in um, weaponry, but this is the MJ and G once again uh, is just a sort of a slightly better 1841. So this is still like a 20 year old design at this point in time uh, before we jump into Fredericksburg. Superior defense metal. I mean, okay, cool. That's nifty. Um, bunch of money, bunch of dudes, and uh, another point into econ. Yes, sir. Pretty, pretty heavily discounted weapons at this point, or alternatively able to sell them back at you know insane, insane payoff. So I won't need to touch Icor. Icor is exactly where it's going to be. Um, Going into uh, the Battle of Fredericksburg. Yep. Two core will clean it up. Um, we want the spotting one, right? Yeah, spotting and stealth. Boop. So that's good. Happy with that. But, uh, darn it, you know? Darn. I wonder. I wonder, you know, can I even get away with a major? Ooh, pretty obvious that if I put like a colonel in there, they'd be okay. Uh, but that's exactly what battles like Fredericksburg are for, is to level up units. So we're going to leave two core. We'll clean it up, obviously. And then three core, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. Why not? I just need to add two more units to the army, and I clearly have the money to do so. We'll be upgrading uh, weapons and all that kind of stuff, filling out units, everything else and so forth. But we did end up buying the 20 pounders. And then, uh, so that means I'm going to go with a morale of plus one, which is I'm usually spending reputation to the point where I've got morale of like minus one. Uh, yeah, this is the army that we're going to take more or less to Fredericksburg. So the army is at, let's call it 68 or so. Uh, and I am thirty-three. I mean, you know, still mid fifties. Uh, so I mean, they're gonna outnumber me a bit, which is okay. They've gotten reinforcements, but um, they're gonna suffer a ten percent army size debuff, and then a ten percent debuff in experience as well. So we don't be fighting entirely three-star special forces green berets uh <laughs> like uh really special dudes let's take a look what happens now i want to say it's still mid 50s yeah okay uh this is untouched so i don't know where i'm gonna put what all that kind of stuff and everything and then there's the fact that this number is totally useless because we just have that quick skirmish crossing the bridge into fredericksburg city itself or town or whatever um, but stick around for the next video. This is Fiasco signing off. I hope you had a good time. I know I did.